Well, I managed to get out of the mould. The mould isn't too bad. Uh, it's it's broken there. This bit, this bit, and this bit are fine. So if I need to redo it, I can just reprint these. There's only a couple of pieces where there was a bit of air in it, which can easily be um, sanded down. I mean, the the strength of this is. It's absolutely solid. Uh, the pattern hasn't come out perfect as I expected, but I'm not really too bothered about it. The original one, I'm going to take that off. Uh, the original one, which has got the bearing on, so this will be slightly heavier than it would be. 249.4 grams. And this one, is 223 grams so it's not much lighter but it's going to be 10 times the strength so I've got to start sanding I've got a lot of sanding to do Someone asked me if I could put a clock in the background, like there, or there, or there, it doesn't matter, but anyway, so as it, you can see how long it takes me to do something. Now, the first thing is, if you need to ask, you haven't got the time. <laughs> and the other thing is, because I have to keep stopping, to have a clock there would be, it'd just be bloody pointless. You can see how bad the weave is. I, I didn't expect any better to be honest, but what I should have done was done it all forged carbon rather than trying to put a, a layer, uh, you know, in hindsight, I suppose. There's a couple of bubble holes which are directly opposite that one, which I, I expected these anyway. A bit of a sag in there, but I mean, overall, it's completely solid. So I've given it a coat of XCR epoxy and I'm now going to sand it down and flat it all off and then I can possibly lay it that way to fill all these holes in uh, that side doesn't look too bad actually in fact I'm quite I'm very pleased how it's come out to be honest see I should have done it all the forged look on there but it's too late now anyway here we go Right, what I've got to do, this here is the cutout for the swing, uh, the torque arm, that was it. So what I've got to do, obviously I've got to shape it. Uh, I've got to cut a piece out off this. This, I cocked up a bit, it's stainless steel, so I don't know how hard this is going to be to cut. But, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. So... I need to rub this down, uh, I'm just going to flat it off, make sure it's all, this has had the final coat of resin on it, I've got to flat it all off and then I can polish it all up. Obviously here's the original and here's mine. That has got cut out in the back as you can see, uh, mine hasn't, it's completely solid. This isn't perfect, I've only, uh, I suppose, quickly rubbed it down and polished it. If I decide to keep it then yes I will do it properly. Now the weight, the original one, 250 grams. Mine, 237 grams and I've still got to cut the holes uh, which I'm actually dreading because they're rather critical <laughs> the positioning and I've got nothing 
Things came to a bit of a grinding halt. Well, a big grinding halt. Uh, I had got no way of clamping things together because my voice is that. Uh, that only comes out, what, three inches? <laughs> three inches is no use to anybody, as every, blo every bloke knows. This is for this. That should be the same size as that, or near enough. That's heavy. I'm going to make this out of chopped toe, carbon fibre. I'm going to reinforce it with uh, diagonal layers, horizontal, vertical layers, that sort of thing. The same as I did with the other one, uh, with the swinging arm. So that goes on there, that obviously goes there, that goes there, and then that goes through there. You'll notice there's no holes in this, and there's no separation. That's because this is a one-off. It's going to work perfectly the first time, no problem at all. And also, which you can't quite see, there's holes in it. I've got holes in the bottom, I've got some, well, the pin holes in the side, which I've got to make a bit bigger. Um, there's none in the piston, and there's none in here. It's literally on that bit, so as I can squeeze, and hopefully all the resin, any ex excess resin will start coming out of the sides. That's the theory behind it. Whether it will work or not, I don't know. And also, I'm experimenting with an imprint. <laughs> Although I doubt it very much if it's going to come out. Oh yes, sorry. What I was waiting for was these. So hopefully this will work. I really do hope it does work. Anyway, here we go. I've just remembered I didn't put any release agent in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is going to be an exercise in what happens if you don't put any release agent in. I know this was going to be a sacrificial part, but I hope and pray that the mould is, the, the cast itself isn't going to be sacrificial. That is definitely enough <laughs> for the third time. So I'm going to get my piston, I'm going to get my clamps. Well, there's definitely enough resin in there, <sighs> but that's possibly going to leave me with a big bloody problem. I've never asked people to do this before, but Bearing in mind that I put no release agent on there and bearing in mind that it's a very big mould I want you to comment down below and tell me if you think this is going to come out and I need to change the orientation of this don't I so as everything can escape by the time you see this, I'll know whether it's worked or not, but you won't. So I want to see how many people have got faith in me <laughs> who think this is going to actually work and come out half decent. I mean, when I say decent, I mean salvageable. <laughs> 